what's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy, and today in this video, I'm catering it to more of the students that want to know what clippers to get. You know, they're starting out. It's a lot of students out there. Every time I go to the events, it's like, man, Jeezy, you helped me. I'm a beginner. I never cut hair before, but when I saw your videos, it helped me out. So this right here, this video is definitely gonna help you out to determine what clipper you need to get and what's best for you. It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay tuned. So when you first start barber college and you're in school, they probably are gonna give you uh, an Andis Masters or you know a wall senior, something that's big, bulky, and heavy. The reason why I think that they give you something that's real sturdy, big, bulky, and heavy is because those are gonna be your beater clippers, you know what I mean? Those are gonna be clippers that, that you throw around, if you drop it, chances are they won't break. You know, it's it's more heavy duty than you know the clippers that I use. So what I suggest you use are the Andis Masters. The Andis Masters is probably the, the most sturdiest clipper, especially as a beginner from what I started. This is just all my opinion. I know everybody like different clippers, like walls, some people like, you know, Austers. It's, it's so many clippers out there, fabulous, you know what I mean, that you could get into. But the, the, the clipper that I started with was the Andis Masters. They kind of helped me with that beginning stage on um, having a feel for how heavy the clipper is, you know, the shape of the clipper and you know when you move on to different clippers you know you'll find out that wow clippers are really lighter than the Andis Masters because the Andis Masters could weigh you down so much that you feel like you're doing curls you know what I mean with the clippers so you know starting off with a heavy duty clipper is is kind of a must for me especially when I started out because you know it got me used to uh, holding a heavy clipper rather than starting off with something light and going to something heavy so basically what I'm trying to say is that you got to go heavy I in order to go light build yourself up first before you decide to chill you know what I mean people always want to chill first nah all right put in the work put in the grind you know what I'm saying have that heavy clipper the way you could curl it and then go off and venture off with something light all right that's basically what I'm saying so rather you get the Andis masters or the wall seniors Either one is heavy, all right? So, so another clipper that probably comes in your kit is gonna be some detachable clippers like the Andis BGRCs. For those that's thinking, okay, I'm gonna pick up these clippers, <laughs> wait a minute, okay? Whoa, no, 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 no. No, 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 Wait, 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 wait. Oh my goodness. Before you start thinking about fading with some BGRCs, all right, you want to get the basics down because fading with some BGRCs, detachable clippers are going to be hard. It actually takes more time to fade with some detachable clippers because you got to keep going back, cleaning the detachable blade. You got to go back and put on a different detachable for a next guard. But with some clippers that are adjustable, you know, it's way faster. You put on the guard, you adjust the lever to your liking, and then you just start blending from there. It's just way easier process. So, I mean, to take down bulk, I give it to it, all right? You can take down bulk, you wanna take down bulk on the top, it's fast, it's easy, but to blend with some detachable blades, are hard work but ultimately that's why you're in school is to learn the guard system and to learn the steps that it takes to blend but just know that using detachable blades is going to be hard work when it comes to fading so the next clipper that's going to come in your kit is probably the andis outliners or the andis t outliners the andis outliners are the ones with the short blade and the andis t outliner is the one with the wide blade what i recommend is the andis t outliners because it's a wider tooth you could get in corners a lot better around the ear, the mustache. It's just convenient to have that extra the, that extra lip on both sides. Now that's just the clippers that come in the kit that they give you at school. I'm about to show you what clippers I transitioned into and that I feel like are best for beginners and the reasons why. Let's go. So 
like I said, the first clipper that I used was Andis Masters. That's what I started out with until I started gaining more clientele and the clippers started to weigh heavy on me. So I looked up on YouTube on the different clippers on what other people were using. I came across this video where this guy was using the Oster Fast Feed. Now, this clipper is custom, all right? Now, I don't wanna get y'all confused on thinking that y'all could just buy this like this, all right? You can't, all right? The clipper will not come looking this good, all right? First of all, the link will be in the description on where I got these custom at, B. Clark Customs. Hooked it up for your boy. I just like getting custom clippers just to spruce it up a little bit, you know, make it more interesting to cut hair because, you know, if the clipper looks good, then I cut good then that makes me feel good. And then inside I can actually give a good cut because I feel better in cutting hair and then I'll, maybe I will. And then, but now nah, you guys, the reason why I like the fast fees so much is because it's light weight, all right? It doesn't weigh too much in your hand and it doesn't cut off too much at one time. A lot of clippers, you know, you can't recover from a, a, from a slip up, you know? We're not perfect, so sometimes we dig and we go too high and it's like, oh, I gotta bring the fade all the way up now. But with this clipper right here, it doesn't cut aggressively. So you're, when you cut, it's not gonna cut off too much. It's just gonna cut off a little bit and you're gonna have to keep going over it, which is not a bad thing. Now when you get this clipper, you're gonna have to customize it. I basically put the ceramic blade on here. I put the number one detachable blade. I took, I slid it out and I put it on this fast feed on the cutting blade right here. By putting it on your fast feeds, it actually cuts faster. It isn't like laggy. You know, when you got that metal one on, the way it moves is kind of slow. But when you take that off and put this on, it really moves real quick. So you're able to cut a little bit more faster with these, you know what I mean? Like I said, when you first get them out the box, um, cutting hair, you know, for your first time, it's gonna be like, okay, okay, okay. It, it ain't cutting too much off at one time, but this, it actually boosts it up just a tad. So basically, after you're done beating your Andy's Masters up to death, because I know some of you out there that's beginners are gonna drop your clipper multiple times, you wanna move up to the Oster's Fast Feeds. This is just my personal preference. I know everybody out there got different tools that they use. This is just a, 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 a clipper that I recommend. Another clipper I recommend to get are the Magic Clips, all right? Now, I don't use the Magic Clips as like a real clipper. I use them more as a balding clipper than anything else. Um, I just feel like I just don't like the wall guard system. That's the only thing that I have with this clipper. And that's the only reason why I'm not really using it as a, as a real clipper and I'm just using it as a balding uh, clipper. I just don't like the guard system. It's just something about the guard system that I wish Andis would just make up for the fact that Wall isn't putting out the same kind of magnetic guards. You know what I mean? How come Wall is not putting out a magnetic guard? It just makes life harder, that's all. That's all. It's just making my life harder. That's why I just use them as balding clippers. So for anybody out there that doesn't mind the Wall guard system, those clippers are definitely a dope clipper to have when it comes to fading because it's, it's almost like the Oster Fast Feeds to where it doesn't cut off too much at one time. So for anybody out there that want to use the guard system, go ahead and use the guard system. But I don't use the guard system because I use them as balling clippers and I don't want to use them because I hate the guard system. So when it comes to fading, those are the only clippers that I use. So moving on to the liners, the Andes GTX, again. These are customized. Link will be in the description on where you can get yours customized because I don't. It just does something to your heart when when you when you have your own clipper customized. But these clippers right here are the Andes GTX. Um, I feel like these are more powerful than the Andes T Outliners. These clippers come with the deep tooth blade right here, and it's better to cut off more hair. Um, like when, when your client has big bulks in the front right here and you want to cut it down to make a crisp line, you know what I mean? They got a two and above. This, this, this clipper right here, because it's a deep tooth, the hair is able to get in there and you could you really give a crisp line, you know, lining somebody up with these clippers right here. So I really recommend these clippers for 
beginners, for people that's, you know, advanced, you know, everybody. These are some good, clean clippers. But the reason why you guys are getting those Andes T outliners or Andes outliner twos is because those are beater clippers and you guys are gonna mess those up, drop them on the floor, beat them up. I mean, you're gonna go through so many blades. It's better that you learn from them first than to move on to something like this. So the next clippers I use are the Andis Slimline Pro LIs. Um, the reason why I like these so much is because, you know, they're cordless for one, you know, they, they don't have a cord to it, so you're free to do whatever. If, you, if I wanna line you guys up, I can right now. Just turn them on, I'll line you up, okay? It's no problem. I see some of you out there in the, in the front that need a little touch up, let me, let me get that for you. I've been meaning to get that the whole video. When this video started, I seen you. I just really wanted to get that for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me touch you up. These clippers are also deep tooth. They have, they come with a deep tooth blade. I like deep tooth. I don't like the, the short little teeth. I, for some reason, with those, um, with any like clipper that comes with the short teeth, it just, it just doesn't cut well for me. The, the deep tooth um, blades always do the job for me. So I recommend to anybody out, anybody out there um, starting out or you know experienced barbers like myself. So this Andis Slimline Pro Li is the one. Especially for kids, especially for like uh, difficult areas, small areas. You know, some people don't have the big box like me. Some people's forehead is right here by the eyebrow. So you gotta have a little clipper like this to just edge them up right here. Some people ain't got the box. All right, I got a big Tetris box, okay? All right, I can get on myself. I got a big Tetris box right now, all right? I, some, I can use the Andis T, I can use the Andis GTX and be good, use the whole blade. You know what I mean? So some people, some people got that little forehead, all right? You may wanna pick these up. But that's basically all the tools I have. I do have this blow dryer that I use, this professional Paul Mitchell blow dryer, but this one right here is pretty expensive. So you might wanna use the one that comes in your kit because you guys are gonna be dropping them like it's hot. You know what I mean? Everything, you know? You're a student, you be, you, you're, you're just learning. You know, everything you're gonna be fumbling, you know what I mean? You're gonna just be dropping it like it's hot. That's, that's, that's basically what you do as a student, okay? You, it just fumbles. And some of us even as experienced barbers still drop our clippers, okay? I'm not gonna name any names. I'm not gonna point any one of you out. But you guys know who you are. You watch my, my video like, uh, is he really pointing at me? Yes, I'm talking to you, okay? You're, you're still dropping your clippers. You're acting like an amateur, okay? I'm just gonna say that, okay? I'm gonna put my blow dryer back. How about that? All right, YouTube, I hope this was just a nice video to watch just to you know learn about different clippers or you know the type of clippers that you're thinking about getting or just if you feel me you know what I mean some of y'all it, it, it's just the, the whole fact that you know I feel what you're saying you know what I mean that's that's it and that's it and I, and I'm fine with that you know what I mean it don't gotta be that you learned anything it just it could be it could be just that you feel what I'm saying you know what I mean so I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you wanna learn how to cut hair, how to get waves, please hit that subscribe button, all right? It's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Cheers.